God does not love you. If you reject the Lord Jesus Christ, I don't care what the preachers say. I don't care what the Christians say. If you reject his son and the suffering and death that his son went for, there is no love upon you until you repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Now as often as I quote John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. <clears throat> Now, I don't know if you looked at John 3.16. I know what you hear of John 3.16. You hear, for God so loved the world. But what you hear is not what you see in the scriptures. Because John 3.16, for God so loved, is L-O-V-E-D, past tense. And we know God is love through the first epistle of John. Through the life and ministry of Jesus Christ, we know that God is love. And a couple weeks ago, we had a couple women come up to us. We love you. We love you. And they think what we do is not love at all. I get up in the morning to proclaim with a purpose to come here and tell you about Jesus. And to tell you about heaven. And to tell you about hell. How to go to heaven. There is no greater love than the love of telling you what the Bible says and not what man has said. But John 3.16, love is past tense. When you put the letter D or the letters E-D, in front of a verb, it makes that verb past tense. So when God loved the world, past tense, is when he gave his only begotten son. That love of God is when Jesus suffered and died on the cross. And to continue in the love of God, is to put your faith and trust in Jesus and believe that is what pleases God. You doing good, you going to church, that has no value to God. That fuels your ego. That makes you prideful. That makes you proud. God. God. Don't you know that God made man? For Jesus is the love of God. And that love was shown upon the cross of Jesus Christ. Upon Calvary's hill. It is there on the cross. When Jesus died for sinners. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. It is there. That is the love of God. And I'm not talking about no fluffy panty waist. 
pink slipper preacher who is so slick he can go through a rose bush and not get pricked. I am talking about the love that God has given to man and that love is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is the love of God. And that when you reject Jesus Christ, you are rejecting the love of God. You are refusing God's love. And that when you come up in a, a love, a love, you don't have enough love, you're a hypocrite. Because we have all the love of God. We have the love of God. And the love of God through Jesus is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is the love of God. And that for Christians, those who are born of God, by belief in Jesus Christ, are commanded to go into the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died. The love of God. The gift of God. According to the scriptures, he died. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. The love of God is the charity of God, is the gift of God. That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. That is the love of God. To be nice and friendly and, 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 and fruity tooty to everybody and turning the other cheek, that's not love. That's ego. And ego is pride and being proud. And pride is a sin in the Bible. And the true love of God is the love of the preaching of Jesus Christ. And the very fact is that you hate the preaching of Jesus. You hate the gospel of Jesus. You hate the child of God doing what the Bible says. You have no love. You yourself, I'm a Christian, but I hate what you're doing. You're a hypocrite. Because if you proclaim to be a Christian and hate a brother in your heart, the Bible says through John, you're a murderer. You're as Cain. And Cain brought the fruit of the ground. Abel brought the blood. And religion killed Abel. As the Catholics have killed Christians and as Muslims have killed Christians. 
that goes all the way back to Genesis chapter 4. When religion killed a man that was under the blood. Religion killed one quarter of the population of the world. And the love of God is the blood. For God says life is in the blood. And God has given blood for atonement of sin. And that the blood of Jesus Christ, according to Acts 20, 28, is the very blood of God himself. So on the belief in the principles of the Jehovah Witnesses, tell them to go take a swan dive in a hell that they don't believe in. Because they are in great error of the scriptures. Because Jesus is God, and there is a hell. And Jesus died that you might not go to hell. He came to seek that which is lost. And those that are lost are those who have never put their faith and trust in the love of God, which is Jesus Christ. It's so simple to see that Jesus saved. And only Jesus saves. Life and death is in Jesus. And death in hell is in religion and works. Life and belief in Jesus Christ is the way of God. And anything else besides Jesus Christ, God, is hell. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Ma'am, why don't you just believe on Jesus and get right? You need to believe on Jesus. Then you get love, joy, and peace. You have no love, you have no joys, you have no peace. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou won't be so bitter. Thou will not be so angry. Maybe you will smile and be happy and enjoy life in Jesus. So simple. That Jesus saves. And only Jesus saves. Hey, DJ. Hey, DJ. Good morning. We got Jesus Christ for you. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you got life. Enjoy your music because you won't find that music in hell. The only good music there is is in heaven. Praise in Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other. There is nothing else. But Jesus Christ. So they're saying them. 